tell me about your African Uber driver. Oh yeah, this was like two months ago now that I was uh, in an Uber heading to a buddy's uh, buddy's house, hang out, pool day. Uh, had to Uber because the it was in the middle of St. Louis's absurd heat wave where we were the hottest place in the country for like six weeks and my AC went out in my car. And so I was like, I'm not driving and dying in my car on the way there. And so I ordered an Uber and it's this African guy who's my Uber driver. And immediately, like he's already on the phone when he picks me up and he like, like stops for one second to be like, do you mind if I continue to speak on the phone? And I was like, hmm. no, not at all. And so I just got like a 25 minute ride from this guy. By the way, he took the absolute longest way to my friend's house. I like, I tried <laughs> like at least two times to be like, you want to take a right here? We didn't take a right there. You want to go <laughs> straight? And we turned there. We went through like neighborhoods. But this guy, he was like, must have been something have of, a, of a relationship that guru. Would upset me. Well, he was interesting. He was on the mm. phone, clearly talking to, uh, first a man for most of the car ride. And clearly this man was confiding in him about his relationship problems. And they're both Nigerian or something. And so he had all these like funny tips, like the big tip that I remember him saying over and over was like, you are allowing a woman in your own house to dictate to you what you do and what you do not do. This is something that to me is entire nonsense. You, hmm. That is why you are in this situation. This situation has happened to you because she is in your house and she is telling you and you are listening to her. You do not allow her in your house to dictate the rules. He said dictate a lot. To dictate <laughs> the rules I, to I'm you. I'm with him. I'm on board with him because I'm picturing a, a scenario where like, yeah, you can move in with me. And she's like, hey, clean your shit up. I, hey, get, get your get your towels off the floor. Hey, come in here. Like, like the fucking, what are you doing? <laughs> you left your dish on the, uh, on the table. Yeah. It's my fucking table. My fucking dish. Yeah. He, he, Smash. Yeah, he this guy was <laughs> traditional as shit. like, like, like he, tra very traditional Nigerian man. He's like, yeah. she is not meant to be in your house instructing you. You are to lead her in the house. Does you are, in, when you are in the house, <laughs> you are in charge. And so you do not listen to her. You are okay. having, listen. And then he'd be like, listen, 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 listen to me. Listen to what I am saying to you. I say again, when she dictates to you and you listen to this, you are not taking your power as a man. Your power as a man, that is your house. That is your home. You are the head of the of the snake or whatever the fuck. No, I like that. that. <laughs> Stay with that. I what added that it? bit in. The head, the head of the, of the what? You are the head the of the snake. Oh, okay, okay. That's like the it. head of the snake. And now it will become a silly <laughs> boy. Well, I like <laughs> You are the locomotive on this train. If the head follows the tail, of the tail snake. what would happen? <laughs> what would happen? No, you cannot. You are having problem in relationship because she does not respect you. You are allowing her to be in a part of the relationship that she as a woman should not be a part of. And it was like, I, I wish I could hear the other guys yeah. point, like all the stuff he was complaining about. But I, I'd like to say, I think I learned stuff from him. I think I learned a lot about Nigerian masculinity. And I think I'm going to take that to the bank next time I'm in a, a serious relationship. And yeah. never, never allow a woman in my house to tell me how I must behave. Never. Well, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with Magumbo here. Uh, all yep. that sounds mm -hmm. pretty good to me. I gave him a good on tip the, and five on, stars on the service. <laughs> I don't like him driving you all around town. I did not put up. No, with that. The, but like at much. the end of it, I was fine with like four extra minutes of driving to get a little more, fair. more insight. Yeah, that's fair. But then but, at the end, clearly a woman was on the phone. And so I think he was like mitigating a mm. familial conflict with someone that he knew. Like he was the guru handing out life lessons to people. And I didn't really I, catch much of the woman. I would have got a second. Like, hey, you I know what? Take me back. I want to hear the. I want to hear you tell her. Yes. you are just a woman. <laughs> it is your job <laughs> to shut your trap. <laughs> yeah, what if, what if that's what it was. He like gives the guy like all this build up advice, and then for the woman, he's Ooh, like, "You are a despicable witch. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to kill you <laughs> because you step out of line in your house with your husband." So I assume oh, it was husband and wife. They're pretty traditional over there, I think. Pretty pretty Christian, mostly you, in Nigeria. So you think you picked up a few things from them? Yeah, I, I think of I them so. as Catholic or or definitely Christian in some way or another. Yeah, I, they're I one of the more one Christian. Nigerian, I think. 
not super. Muslim. I worked with a Nigerian guy. Um, he had like a his name was like Alexander or something. He had like a very white name, and uh, and I just remember oh, he was like really good with the ladies. He's a good looking guy. He was a big dude, and uh, and he called pussy cuckoo. He's like I I knew how to please the cuckoo. The, the cuckoo tried to get away from me sometimes. I do not let it. He's like trying to whole maneuver. This point he's going like, forward, I also call pussy cuckoo. Yeah. Oh, he's no. like, cool. he's a little cuckoo for man. cuckoo puffs. He's <laughs> explaining how he'd like put a pillow, a couple of pillows and pile them up and kind of put that around the lady's waist so her butt would be up. He's like, but then you grab the pillow and the cuckoo cannot get away. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just always talking about like, Really getting after some cuckoo, and that she's already woozy from the head injury. <laughs> <laughs> she does not have a chance to escape my Uber. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I don't like them driving me around again. I don't take Ubers very much, but usually when I do, it's because I'm dropping something off, like a U haul or something, and I know the way home, so I know if they're jerking me around. I, I wouldn't like that very much. But wait, I'm am I mistaken? I thought the price was agreed on beforehand. For so Uber? they're not driving yeah, you around like a taxi driver, like price wise. Yeah, no, it didn't get more expensive. It just like I would look at my app and it's like, oh, oh we're not arriving at uh twelve oh five anymore. We're arriving at twelve ten. He's just inexplicably like, taking a different route. Just inexplicable. He he went away. I never considered going to my friend's I house. I hate that even more. It was frustrating. It's like you're yeah. not even profiting from this. You're just wasting. He was both not. Of our paying, time. He was paying no attention to the drive. I could have I could have been holding him at gunpoint in the back and he would not have known. He was very into this conversation. I just Excuse looked at Nigeria's me, You religious... cannot pull a gun in my car. Yeah. I, this is you my car is disrespectful. Me. Yeah. You cannot dictate to me in my Uber even if you have a gun. Like he, yeah, I, now that I looked at Nigeria's religious breakdown, it seems more likely he was Muslim because they're like 50-50 oh, okay. and he was my guy Coming in pretty was not. hard with the woman stuff, and that seems to go with with Muslim, Islam. Yeah, but or in common sense in general, you know, like yeah. it, it does sound like like it does sound like his girlfriend is like kind of bossing him around at his house, and he's he, and, and I, I think yeah. your Uber driver was on to something. I think he was too. Why, why are men better at everything? What is with that? I think it's just God because I, because more. because historically, if you weren't at least good at something as a man, you mm, probably fuck. weren't going to have any children and pass your DNA along for one reason or another. You had to be good at something. But as a lady, yeah, mm. yeah. So we have, are you there? Have, I saw true. women complaining about men competing in their sport. They said it was absolutely unfair, and that we can't like if if this trans woman you know born a man now a woman uh is competing against us is not fair but that sport was fishing and i'm like why are men better at fishing why do women think it's not even fair it's to not compete even against men in fishing i'm close yeah. how much men better men are at fishing it was freshwater <laughs> fishing mind you it's not like it was yeah. ever catching giant yeah, marlin that's the, the hard seas. kind the deep water fishing's easy you're just like let's wait the freshwaters when they're doing all those fancy casts and picking the right bait for the sun and the water and the cover and the fish, like well, that. I just imagine bringing in a marlin might give a strength advantage to a guy, but if the fish weighs six pounds or four pounds, then women are strong yeah. enough. Men, men just women like and, tend and to obsess over terms. things much, much more, and so any hyper specific hobby, you're going to have way, way more men than women who are interested in it. Like I would imagine. And also you're yeah. right about the ancestor thing. Like I think we have like tons of men just throughout history just did not fuck and have kids. Tons Here's the thing. of you ever them. you ever you ever hear someone did. say, Yeah, he's just talented at that thing. You know why? Because yeah. his grand great grandfather was talented at that thing. And that means he got to fuck a lot. There's a lot of people who are talented at jumping because their ancestors were too. Did uh we talk about on the show that uh, the Blade News, the guy who died on his stream. Yes. Or maybe we or something, was that in a hangout? Blade stream, someone, do you want to lay the whole thing out? Do you have the Do that. you have the broad strokes? Do you know the whole thing? I have the the broad strokes of it. Lay yeah. it out. So, so basically, and I'm someone in the comments will correct all shit I'm wrong on, but Blade and then a few other guys were in like a streamer house where they all obviously stream and whatnot, and one person named Willie was like a fan of Blade's stream 
and he kind of got involved in it on the content side where now he was on like, in the house and you know uh, chatting with the people and like, the, the text country. to speech I guess, I guess he drove cross country I didn't even know he drove that far 12, so I was told 12 to 18 hours or something Jesus Christ so like the, the for a big part of the country yeah 18 hours if he's driving that far and they're all in this this house streaming and lots of boozing lots of uh seemingly some some drugs going down there and this guy willie took like i apparently he took a bunch of ambien or some kind of pill that obviously is not going to interact with alcohol in a way that's xanax xanax that was another one of benzodiazepine that can straight up just kill you because it will shut down your respiration and everything don't do that do not mix drugs folks do not mix benzos and alcohol or any of that don't fuck with i mean sometimes uh they don't fuck with them. And this guy, I guess, was on those or Ambien, something like that. I saw a couple different things. But basically, he was on some kind of pills that like make drinking like a, a death wish, basically. And he started, I saw a clip of him drinking on the stream, Willie. And I guess someone paid on the, the chat, the text to speech. Donated to himself. Donated to himself. And he took like a whole, so like like most of a solo cup filled with uh crown royal which is whiskey so like m- probably six shots worth in there a huge amount and that amount all in your system at once is already a shit ton but with pills like a benzo in your system or ambien I, benzo makes more sense like xanax like you will get to the point that like your your central nervous system is so depressed that like you stop breathing you your your heart stops beating like you will die and this guy is clearly like totally out of it he's unconscious out. he's unconscious on his feet he passed out on his feet leaning up against a railing and it wasn't blade stream it was one of the guys he was with uh was standing there filming willie as he's like totally out like just basically almost wheezing with his breathing. And he's like joking, being like, oh, he's going to fall. Everybody, we should make sure he doesn't fall. We should make sure he doesn't fall uh, from where he's standing onto the ground here. And the guy's clearly going to fall. If he wanted to help him not fall, you would have just sincerely grabbed the guy and kind of gently, any adult man could have done that, like got him on the ground in a safe way or preferably to bed or to the hospital. At that time, they didn't know he had to go there. And he collapses onto the ground, falls very, very hard. Um, some people said online, like, oh, it looks like he hit his head. It, it, I, I didn't really see that it looked like he hit his head that hard. It looked like he just kind of went down almost like <laughs> sack of potatoes, not a big mm. head knock. But mm. it wasn't, I don't think, a, I don't think they're even claiming a head knock had anything to do with it. He was on the ground, like totally out, not with it. And instead of calling the paramedics, they started... Like I saw one person held his nose for a bit. Like he's not breathing correctly. And one person, uh, it wasn't Blade. It was one of the other guys. Is like held his nose for a bit. Pretty, pretty shitty. And then also they started painting his face. So they have like black and red and white paint. And they're slathering it all over this guy's face. They're writing Juggalo on his stomach. They are like uh, putting like insane clown posse stuff on him. Maybe that was an inside joke. I don't know. But I don't know how long into that. Probably an hour or so. They realize like it's this is not a guy who's just passed out. Like he's not breathing correctly. He's like doing that knocked out, like wheezy guy, like fast breaths, like very unnatural. And so they call the paramedics and I think it was, I think it was actually blade that called the paramedics. And I did see the clip of blade, like talking to the paramedic on the phone and was holding the guy's head and being like, do we keep him on his side? Do we keep him straight up? Uh, And the paramedic person is like, all right, Every time he exhales, tell me. And so Blade's like, he exhaled. He exhaled. Blade is? He ex- yeah, Blade was saying this on the phone. And the woman's like, okay, his respiration is very, very fast right now. Okay, make sure that he still continues to breathe. Keep his neck elevated and his head and this and that. I'll send people out there. The paramedics get out there. And immediately one of the, the streamer dudes is like, they're still streaming it. There's still the guy is still streaming it. I don't know what Blade's buddy's name was. I wouldn't give him the attention even if I did. And he is like talking to the paramedics like we're streamers. We do YouTube. And like as someone who like does a podcast that's on YouTube, I'm like, oh, that's 
fucking embarrassing. <laughs> why would you say? Why would you say that? Even? Oh, you should like, have said that right away, sir. We'll send oh, the we'll YouTube send people. streaming ambulance. Got some cool bitches it's in like, it with Diddy. And so, <laughs> for good content. And so then, <laughs> like, just to bring some some fucking marijuana. Like, what are you what are you doing? Like, like you think there's a different line or something for streamer yeah. YouTubers? You cock. Like they 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 get in there and dying. they start trying to. He's dying. They're trying to help him. The paramedics are like, "Get me off camera. I don't want to be filmed." And the guy's like, "Oh, we're YouTubers. We do that." And it's like, dude, the, oh, a guy's no. like in in. The, the paramedics are already here. Like, it's already an emergency. You didn't oh, call him for fun. Like, what are you Wait, fucking they're recording do? paramedics and the paramedics are like, he would, get yeah, off camera? Yeah, the, the guy, it, it was uh, one of the guys who was there with Blade was like, like started lifting his, his phone up and paramedics are like, I don't want to be on your camera. Like, they're, they're at work and their job is to keep people from dying. So, yeah, they don't want right. to be on your fucking stream. Can, can we pause right here for a moment and make a yeah. judgment call on that move alone, isolated on an island by itself? Let's say you were there. You just arrived. Or maybe or you've been there a while, but you didn't drug this man or and you could have helped him if you'd seen it, but you didn't see him. You're not culpable in any way. Yeah, I think I still am going to stream the paramedics helping the guy because I'm not trying to be ex exploitative. But if I'm streaming and someone goes down as being life or death paramedics, like. Turns out my life got interesting today, right? Like, like, that's the way I, I see it. I, I. I would not feel comfortable streaming someone who was like in a life threatening situation. It could like go that. well though. And then it's a happy moment for everyone. The, the I, best I, case scenario with, is he doesn't die. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Living shit. streaming your day to day life. And then the most interesting thing that could be the most interesting thing. These guys see their entire life. Uh, if, if you're them, you film it. I understand their impulse too. Definitely. And they clearly have mm -hmm. no scruples. And so like they yeah. were going to do it. But like I personally would not feel comfortable if if I were in a house and Kyle, Ooh, you took a video. bunch no, of you, you took a bunch of Xanax and then you guzzle the solo cup oh. full of shit and you're on the oh, floor. Don't, don't stream me, Diane. God damn it. I wouldn't <laughs> stream you. But if yeah. you fucking, <laughs> fuck, fucking loser drives cross country, cross country and like poisons himself in front of you and you happen to be there. I might want to keep all right. This we need to documentate everything that happens. That's I'm gonna crazy. record. I'm gonna stream. We, we need to read this obituary. Please oh, is, there, is, there, is there a please obituary? read that obituary because I'm sure that everyone would like to hear these beautiful words. Willie Two Guns, 52 of Kansas City, Missouri, passed on August 25th, 2023. He was surrounded by alcoholics and drug addicts in his death. This selfless man spent some of his last dollars buying energy drinks and t-shirts for a fentanyl addict at Walmart. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Damn. I thought that, it was going to be a real <laughs> obituary. But no. That is the that real one. obituary. It mentions his screen name. Willie Two Guns. With oh, the number two. <laughs> Willie Two Guns with the two. <laughs> that yeah, was in that's, the newspaper. That's fucking why I don't think he's of Kansas City because that's where that that shit happened. If he drove across, I, he I guess sure. Willie Two Guns not. took only use me blades. Is it wife or girlfriend? It looks like the drama there is like I guess Willie was dating his ex girlfriend. Maybe it that says right? he mm. stole her from only use me blade. Now I don't know what to make of that. I don't know what the truth is, but that's what's in front of me. Yeah. Um, Either way, oh, this guy... It's uh, crazy that he and Blade were hanging out drinking in the first place. That that he, like, went there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, like, Being I don't that know. they had this woman between them, it's, you would think yeah. it would be awkward or volatile. I wonder if it was, like, going before he went to, like, meet up with their group, or if it was, like, they met there. I don't know. I guess no, that's... that's well, in, I mean... He, I mean no, I think that's old news, him like getting his girl. I don't know anything about that shit. All I know is what I saw and what I took from the whole fucking thing was clearly someone's dying in front of us and nobody's helping. And it was real upsetting to watch. Yeah. Um, especially the way they were. I, I I particularly did not like them holding his nose. It was it was brief, mm -hmm. but when someone's struggling for breath to stay alive, that I don't I I don't like that a bit. And then painting yeah. his face. Man, if 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 this goes to court in some sort of civil suit, even like all of them are are in a lot of trouble. Uh, yeah, it, the fact that he so. bought the shots for himself is not no good. He poisoned himself. It should be phrased that way. 
you can't even say that someone donated and made him do it or coerced him. He showed up, sure. he drove eight, he drove that all the way across the country to put on a show and he did it and he drank more, uh, more than he could and poisoned himself. But then nobody helped him. They let him die there. Like lots of people drink too much. They don't die on the floor in front of everyone though. Cause eventually somebody, yeah. like, the, I don't know. That was pretty fucked with- up. Xanax, which is a kind a brand name for benzo, maybe? Does anyone... It's a type of benzodiazepine. Yeah. It's good stuff. <laughs> but it doesn't <laughs> mix well with alcohol at all. And no, yeah. not And I'm with, curious, like, little. what did the other people well. in the house know that he had taken a bunch of these pills? Because if like the other people in the house knew he had taken these pills and he drank that much and passed out, like that is that's an immediate emergency. Like, I, no, this guy I, was taking Xanax and he passed out with drinking. We need to get him to the hospital or he will die. He will go you're right. Coma I'm not die. sure that's common knowledge, though. It, it, so when I saw him passed out, it looked like any other passed out. Mm-hmm. So they might not have understood the gravity of the situation. That's I what I was thinking. Like, it's like, out. I'm you, sorry. I mean, I, but, like, but these guys see people, people passed out were, all the time. That's true. So, so I've never... I can't think of anybody that I've seen that's like passed out, passed out, like knocked out, maybe like choked out. And oh, he comes right back. But so drunk or drugged that they can't answer a slap to the face and, mm-hmm. and come to. Ah, that would be so fucking scary. Immediately, I'd call somebody like yeah. if, if you can't answer me, then we've got to call for help. That's it. Yeah. Especially like if they did know that he had taken a bunch of benzos or whatever the pill was. And then yeah. responded that way after drinking that much booze. Like that's that's an instant like if we dire dire emergency. Maybe they didn't know. I don't know the story well, of it, but that like that is it, a fu- that is the most surprising. depressing way to die. It's surprising it didn't happen sooner, based on what we we see highlights occasionally. I don't really watch them because you know yeah. it's kind of rough to watch. It's not my cup of tea to it's see people sad. poison and be mean to each other on a usually a RV. Like Ice Poseidon, I his his RV idea has become this awful, evil, proliferating deadly. Thing. <laughs> oh my god! Like like, dude, did you read the Blade move. Keemstar texts? No, I did. I that saw was... that. Like, yeah, apparently, yeah. You go ahead Please and read the, them. I'll read. All right, you, you might I have to do a little it. censorship. I'll do my best. <laughs> so, Blade, apparently, there's the first one I'm about to read is drunk, and then it comes sober. But we'll see. I just woke up. Bro, what is your fucking problem? What happened to you? Uh, This is Blade talking, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm disgusted to have ever helped you, you talentless leeching faggot. You must be bored or evil. Here's the deal. Fuck off. Don't mention me ever. I don't mention you. You should have necked in the womb. Fuck your shitty drama alert channel, which I came up with, by the way, you talentless maggot. The fucked up thing is you were never my friend. It was an opportunity for you to grow a YouTube channel. Besides, no, I'm sorry, because besides determination, you're nothing. That dumb kid at recess that tries the hardest. I grew up knowing kids like you. Fucking losers that think if they try harder than the other kids, then maybe they might make it. You are the equivalent of an ugly bee cupper that thinks she deserves the prom crown. 100 years from now, when the dust settles, people will forget about you and I'll live on. I'm so disappointed in myself for ever helping you. This is Blade talking. Fuck your interview and everything you stand for, piece of shit. The thing is, I don't hate you. I wouldn't go to your funeral, though. I am. Uh, Okay, it doesn't take over from there. I'm sure you're going to make a video or whatever. Here's my statement. Willie died a month later from complications from ventilator. I called ambulance and stayed on the line with the operator until the paramedics came. I was sober, and I didn't give him any booze or knew that he wasn't supposed to drink because of the medication he was taking because of a rollover car crash a month prior. There is no police investigation. Anybody saying that is giving misinformation. Double dog toss, colon. I dropped, not tossed, dropped the dog like two feet, including a picture to show the dog fall was not what the angle is. Same thing as your dog toss years ago. Clearly not okay, but not as outrageous as you people make it out to be. Stop tossing dogs. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Last note, going sober. I've done it before. You've helped me before. Not Not making promises, but this time shit's old. Every negative thing stems from that. I do appreciate you in the past going out of your way to help me out multiple times and knowing I'm better than the booze. So it looks like Blade and Keem are not friends anymore. 
No, I don't think they've been. For, I think Keem kind of disowned him a while ago morning. after after that first. <laughs> yes, well, well read. That yeah, was, uh, I'm known for my insight. <laughs> Um, very big lines, tone change. <laughs> very big tone change in those texts between the, <laughs> yeah. the wasted one and yes. the, the sober one. Jesus Christ! And it's like Jesus. to have to like talk about like I didn't know the guy was on the pills and that. And it's like that could very well be true. Like could be, uh, but to then yeah, like I, mean, I don't blame have to, uh, Blade. It was yeah, the like, other it, guys it, that were there painting his face and pinching his nose that I don't like. And I don't yeah, like I don't the guy think who Blade was painting his from, face or doing that. I don't like that the guy let him fall. Um, although mm. I'd have probably let him fall. Yeah, I'd have let him fall. <laughs> <laughs> Just being real. Some Just stranger being... so drunk he's sliding down a wall. I'm gonna di- dive across the room. I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I didn't see that part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't know you. Fuck you. <laughs> Come on, be real. You're at a bar and you see some fucking schlub sliding down the wall. The guy, that guy, and you're you're gonna dive in there and help him uh, out, dude. Like if that? I if I would have been in if, when I put myself in that house, like my real yeah. self is like I would have been there for 15 seconds before I was like, <laughs> this is the most depressing place i can imagine being is there a david busters nearby we peeked in that all right so i remember when we were in boston and me and woody like go up to y'all's hotel room and and we like peeked in there and it was like ah cool cool all right then bye (laughs) yes (laughs) because there's like 20 of you dudes living in this one little room with a xbox i think (laughs) it was like everyone's 19 nowhere to sit huh (laughs) Yeah, they, oh, they were budget oriented. Smells bad in here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, but no, yeah. that's that that whole thing. I'm I'm not jumping in and helping anybody sliding down the wall, so I won't judge that. But I didn't like how they like fucked with him on the ground. And I'll say again, the reason I wouldn't grab somebody down the wall, like I don't know if that's a homeless guy and he's all nasty and stuff, or he's gonna get needles in his pockets. I don't know if he's just goofing around and me going over there, he's gonna fight me now. I don't know if he is falling, but me going over there, he's gonna still fight me now. I, I don't want any part of crazy man falling down the wall. He's on yeah. his fucking own. Hit your but head. I know that to. all. Th- if if each of us were there, and let's say he's he fell down, and mm-hmm. you walk over and you're like, "What the hell's going on with this guy?" And then someone goes, "Oh, he took a bunch of Xanax and then drank oh. a solo cup of whiskey." You'd be like, "Wait, oh, is there, go. Uh, so so the ambulance is on the way, right? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna call the ambulance on the way out." Put in That's a, exactly a what little anonymous tip. Hey, you got to send an ambulance here right away because someone's overdosing. Their imminent imminent death is nearby. Like, send someone Here's now. Here's the move. Here's What's the move my name? Do. I'm just a good Samaritan. Here's the move. Give me your phone, person who's going to be staying at this party with the person. Uh, I'm going to call 911. Hey, 911. Yeah, I'm about to put you on with Jeff. This is his phone. We're at this address. <laughs> yeah. X, Y, and Z. Dude's down. Here, tell him the rest. Tell him the rest. And then I'm calm. I'm gone. Then you're I mean, gone. Why is it so important me? to be gone and not be? I don't want to be here when the dude dies. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. I, I don't like, want to watch I don't be here for questioning. <laughs> if I stumble in this situation, be... I'll be like, "Whoa, these guys are fucked up." But I'm the adult in the room, and I'm sober right now. I'm calling the ambulance. I'm going to give a accurate status report. No, he's not ambulatory. He's breathing is irregular. I think this is urgent. You know, like yeah. I'm not afraid of that. I'd like to nah. get out of there, but you're right. Like when you phrase it that way, like Taylor, you, Taylor, it wouldn't, he's it saying we don't have to. We don't have to. Oh, if we're all together, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you can go. I'll take go, care of it. We can go we to just need to stay behind while we get back it. to the hotel care. and and clean out the mini bar at, to make our hands stop shaking. Because <laughs> 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 that would be the most stressful night of all time. <laughs> oh, we'd have to hit a dispensary on the way back. It's Kansas City, so illegal. We'd be good. Yeah. Mm, oh my God. Yeah. Well, that's ri- that Jesus. genuinely is a shame. But, um, well, but you I, guys missed sad. the big news. Blade's sober now. If he throws chicken and broccoli into this mix, he's gonna prove me right. If Blade, I, I would love to see him turn it around and prove it right. Foot's going to start getting good circulation. Diabetes will go away. He, I mean, do you, you have the beetus? Fix that with diet. Yeah, he has uh, the beetus badly. That's what yeah. the cause of the. Uh, I bet it'd be easier to get into P play if you had the beetus. 
Why? Oh, because oh, because it, it would taste so good. That yeah, makes, makes perfect pee, sense. Makes your pee yeah. sweet because you're, you know, your 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 body can't filter out all that. Yeah, it's all that not actually sugar. sweet though. It's like it's probably like only sugar. sweet in the world. Is it of pee? Is it a little tangy tail? No, Tell no, we it's, it's, sweet. <laughs> it's like it's like cane syrup. To, no, uh, no, <laughs> you know the kind of piss I like. I like a sixty year old <laughs> coffee drinker, like <laughs> just a, a black coffee drinker, where, where yeah. it's just so much you can you can smell the coffee through in the piss. Mm. Coffee and asparagus. Those both can get I don't, through. I love a, I love asparagus. It's delicious. Um, it's it's good even with nothing on it. Like I can spray it with like a little bit of Pam and put salt and pepper on it. And it's good. But I don't eat it because I don't like how my piss smells. It's a it's offensive to me. Like I don't. Asparagus, I, I'm in the. Yeah. It's so yeah. gross. Yeah, but it's one of the best vegetables. So you just deal with it. No, I don't. I don't eat asparagus. And it goes through I, your or, body so quickly. Like you I eat cut out asparagus. all leafy greens as well, except for spinach. all of them. But well, yeah, but I, guess like I cooked the spinach. Oh, okay. No, no raw leafy greens, of course. No sprouts. Oh, I'm really, like, I'm really scared on, by that documentary. Uh, we didn't touch on the dog thing again. The the dog throwing, or as he put it, oh, the dropping. How do you do that yeah. again? How do you yeah. again do that? And he did it twice on that stream where he was just holding a dog and then just like, like almost like aggressively dropped you know, the dog. I, I, I don't, I don't like that at all. Cause no. I, you know, I got not, you know, I don't like people throwing dogs or, or dropping Dude, dogs. I didn't I, watch it, but everybody who watched it the other day, I, they, they were like, they were like, oh, that's that's. They reacted strongly to it, so I know I don't want to see. It. It. So he, he held the dog, dog and then he kind of dumped it. He didn't throw it for yeah. distance. He just kind of dumped it and he did it twice. And like Blade, if you're watching this, cats are for dropping. They're built for it. You can chunk a cat. Yeah, you can it might like it. Cat, like probably have fun dwarf. with it. Didn't we? Hey, I, I can't remember. Uh, you know, because the drugs. But didn't we determine that a cat could be dropped from almost any height and yes. survive the fall? Tall it's skyscrapers. Legal. Yeah, actually, they don't always survive, but they sometimes do. More than people, like like way more than you think. If you yeah. put a small parachute on a cat, it can survive from any distance. No, nah, I bet that would throw it off. No, what if it? What if you, you, train you do it cat. right? It would have to land on its feet, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's going to be a little glider on it, so it goes. That's tat cat. This well, is my all I'm hobby. saying is throw cats, Blade. Don't don't throw fucking dogs. They're not good at <laughs> yeah. it. They, you know, there's no way to win someone over by abusing a dog. No. Everybody likes dogs. I hate Koreans. the instinct that Blade had. Like I don't know how many times I've seen him on stream dropping and throwing dogs four maybe it's like three times well the, the really bad one was the one years ago where he just like threw a dog and it was like it like flipped almost seemingly yeah it and that dog like so he abused the dog and then he picked the dog up and the dog was so loving and just like endearing towards blade and yeah. then he did it again to the dog and that what is is it a parasocial relationship what is it is it what is it called, that, Taylor? You you taught me a new word the, recently. Parasocial is like someone developing a imagined relationship with like us. Like they listen to a podcast a lot, and they're like, "I know this guy." Ah, so it would okay. be, I thought it was like unrequited love, but uh, so I use it incorrectly. Um. Anyway, yeah, that dog loved Blade so much, and it was so just like wanting to snuggle and make up. And mm -hmm. Blade did it again to it, and it was a special kind of cruel to me. Yeah, that's me. It's like. Like the first time the dog was probably like, oh, sorry, boy. Did you drop me on accident, boss? It's okay. Mm -hmm. It happens sometimes. And it's like, no, <laughs> no, it doesn't happen. Number one, mm -hmm. <laughs> where he just like, no. unless you're like the dog of a very elderly person who just loses strength in their arm. Like, no. Zach, can you, can you play that, that gif? The cum gif? I, I, no, not the cum gif. Uh, the one you sent me <laughs> of you coming. <laughs> he doesn't have that. He doesn't, he doesn't, doesn't have that. Chat. I'm glad <laughs> Taylor didn't recognize me from that gift. No, oh, no, I got yours too. <laughs> I thought this guy looked. Quite that guy looks a, bit a lot like, like you. Yeah, I. Yes. That's your doppelganger. He sounds like me a little. But then, but see, he's got a black friend. That's how you know. <laughs> see, see, see the comments. See the comments. <laughs> like, like, Jesus Christ. And they're like, yeah, they just did the 666th episode. 
That's Damn. absurd. That guy looks um, so much like it's. It I've must be nice for past. you, yeah, to look like someone I who's to look carefully, not ugly. Yeah. Every time someone links me, someone that looks like me, God it's damn. some just boorish idiot, some some ugly fat headed retard. And they're like, "You look like a spitting image of this guy," and it's like a homeless guy who's oh. fat. So that's, well, that's not good. Just, that's just not. <laughs> that's just people not being very kind. That's what that. Yeah, that happens to me. Con- like not anymore. I, mean, I don't really read content about me, but they'd be like, "This guy at the gas station looks just like Woody." He's 65 pounds overweight. <laughs> he's wearing like this shirt. He's testing the tensile strength of his buttons and mandals. And I'm like, he does. That's how you he's see He's wearing me. shorts. Woody. <laughs> White man, shorts. Woody. Dude, yeah, we I do this think... thing in my house called Huck Finning. Jackie downstairs, and I guess she wanted to give herself some sort of pedicure. I don't know. But it led to her spilling too much water in the living room. It's like, She's picking up electronics. It's trying to get under the entertainment center. And uh, she has the Bissell out to like collect all the mm-hmm. soapy water or something. And she's just making it look like fun. Like, look at it go. See the water coming a in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a vacuum. Bissell but sounds it, like what Snoop Dogg would call a pussy or something. Oh, no, no. It's a vacuum, <laughs> but it like it can like shoot soap into the carpet. And then yeah. it pulls that soap back out. It, you have dogs. You might like it. So um, I, have, I have a similar thingy. Okay, yeah. So she's using the Bissell, though, to just collect the soapy water that, that spilled on the ground. And she convinces Colin that it's fun and just totally fucking Tom Sawyer'd him or Huck Finn'd him. Yeah. And, you know, he's like, can I do it? Can I do it? And she's like, I don't know. <laughs> this is a good time. Let me try. <laughs> I don't remember the book well. Tom, Tom, I think it's Tom Sawyer's the one who it's convinced the other kids that okay. painting the fence was so fun so he could run off with Huck Finn. Yeah. Um, Huck sense. Finn's like, Huck Finn was the bad influence. Nobody. Yeah, yeah, he's not doing anybody's chores. He, he was the out. cool kid. Um, mm. And then there's Tom. What was Tom's first name? What was Tom's first Tom. name? No, nah, nah, Tom. Tom was definitely a second name. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I think you're you're thinking of Jim. <laughs> oh, is that who it was? It was Jim. That's right. Yes, yeah. you're thinking of Jim. And his first name, dude. That that when they book. when they got that word out of that book, it it like thirty pages shorter. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was an old I, trick I, they did to hit publishing uh, <laughs> limits in the eighteen hundreds. Just throw a bunch of ends no, in there. See, but you guys, none of us should be uh, offended if somebody's like, "Oh, this is your lookalike," because we've seen them play code names. Really, like, of Fear Factor challenges style stuff. Up- like, what do you think you would do? Like, could I, anytime I see a show like that and I see people having to eat bugs, yeah, I have, I can't do it. I have a bad gag reflex. Like, yeah, I, can't I do that. like, as, like, I know that once I have the bugs in my mouth, even if it doesn't taste that bad, I'm going to be like, these are bugs. There are bug guts they, all over it, your mouth. And I'm going to gag. And then me, the gag um, is going to make me gag more. So I could do it if they gave me anything I wanted as a chaser. Cause I think oh, if you're a chaser, do. If your chaser was something like water's no good because then I keep all the texture of the bug. But if I had something that was like a like a slushy or a frozen drink of some kind that has like it's like thick and that can kind of mask all the mush that I'm eating. But no, I, I know for a fact that I would bitch out, pussy out, whatever you want to say, vomit out. I can't eat cockroaches. I can't eat maggots. Uh, I'll, I'll say this. I made a pot roast the other day. And I forgot to like clean out the slow cooker and like five days went by and I walked past it and I was like, Oh, oh God, no. And cause like it all like came together yeah. and like, I knew what had, and I couldn't deal with it. I just threw the whole thing away. How much is the whole slow cooker? Slow cooker away? I don't know. I, but, but you know, the inside part is over a hundred dollars, right? No, no, they're nah, not that much. No, nah, I could probably oh, get okay. the new, a new inside Walmart, part get one for, for like, 30 bucks. Yeah, but I was just, I, I can't deal with that. I took a trash bag and I put it over it. And then I picked the whole thing up and I sat it down at the bottom of my dumpster and I closed it and walked away because I was so, I, like, I don't want to throw up over the slow cooker. I got to, I have two slow cookers. Well, I did. <laughs> now you have one <laughs> slow cooker. Now I got so one. So you, you also wouldn't do well with eating challenges. I, I, I can't do it. It's just every time I see like on Survivor or something, or I mean, eating challenges are in fucking every reality show, I'm like, damn. Like, I think this is where I would get eliminated again. Yeah, right I'd away. be embarrassed, too, because everybody next to me would be at least getting, like, a couple scorpions down, and Have I'd be still, like, halfway through the first people, scorpion. 
I've seen a guy on TikTok and he runs it. I guess it's popular enough that people will approach him on the street and they know him and they know the game. Like, so he just does bug eating for money on the streets. And it is, is he awful. Chinese? And it, I don't remember, but, okay. but but it's in America. Like, like he, and it, he's not eating the bugs. You are like, you're approaching like, all right, you oh. want $5? I got a cockroach, right? I got a worm right here. You eat the worm. All right, they eat the worm. Here's your five dollars. Now, do you want to push that five dollars? Make it twenty for a cockroach? And it's like, no. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I do. And you're, they're eating the no. cockroach. How'd you get in my house? <laughs> <laughs> he's he's playing it like a like a street game out there. At, so there's no way that I can go on Fear Factor even for for fifty thousand dollars. I can't eat those cave spiders. That's the worst bug I ever saw. By the way, do you remember yeah. the cave Jeez. spiders, Zach? <laughs> Show yeah, me the cave, cave spiders. spiders. <laughs> From the problem factor. is the volume. If they were like, "Would he eat a cockroach?" I could muscle through it. I could get it done, even if it was alive. I can kill it with my mouth and get it down. I, I think I'm done. But oftentimes it'd be like, "Drink this half gallon jar of bull semen." Yeah, and it's like I, I can lick it, but to guzzle that much is a lot. That's a they ate Oof. these. They eat multiple of these and. It was, I alive? can't remember if it was a man or a woman, but they were bleeding. Their mouth was bleeding. And they're alive while they're eating them? Yeah, they're, they're alive. Like... Yeah, you have to reach in and grab them. And again, like, like the, I don't know, something happened and the person's lips were bleeding from the, the spot. Yeah, something fucking happened. Look at this thing. Every yeah, bit of yeah. this says, don't eat me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's hard for me to look at, frankly. And when you, they're very big. Like, don't imagine that this thing is the size of your pinky nail. It's a big spider that's probably a couple inches across, and they they're munching them down. Multiple of them on Fear Factor. That was the Jesus. worst bug eating thing I ever saw on there. Obviously, drinking the horse cum and the horse piss was the worst like challenge of anything going in you because that's just the piss is not as bad. I, I would I would I way drink rather piss. drink piss than cum from a, yeah. the hot cum from a horse cock. Yeah, I would prefer the piss over the spider even, but the cum what? like temperature do you want your cum taylor i mean Frozen, i don't like want custard. it to be is it like, like a softy or a smoothie maybe it is better fresh i don't know like <laughs> what do you want to, you don't want to have to chew you know when no, you eat a little pudding don't. and you give it a little chew just to kind of yeah it's like in it's like in the fucking jackass where chris pontius is like about to drink it and he's like this gets me out of something i don't want to do right this gets me out of it. Okay. <laughs> and then he just yeah. Does that. Yeah. And he drank like, that. Ugh. But that girl on Fear Factor, it was like two sexy twins or something. Like the cast on that show was great. They're like, all right. And they were, I, memory's weird. I remember beer steins. I remember them mm -hmm. having beer steins of piss. I don't remember what the cum was in, but I remember them drinking like a, a pint of piss, at least a pint of piss. It was so much piss. Hmm. I mean, That's the volume is no joke. You, you ever pee on a lady, Taylor? Uh, no. No. I would if it was requested. I'm just, you know, it doesn't do it yeah. for me. Nice you know, done, it, Zach. That, that, that's impressive. I, I, I can, can I see that again? I, I need, I, I need to see that again. I didn't, I didn't get a good enough look. Let's see. Let's let's pull that up again and see those if... young ladies imbibing a bit of, yeah. I wonder how they chose which oh. one was going to get the piss. Look how tall that glass of cum is. <laughs> That's so much cum. Dude, the piss girl that has to feel like That dude was on lock and she, load. She has to feel like she made out like a bandit. The piss Look girl. Look at Logan. Yeah. Logan on the left. He's just like, God, you got his the fucking piss I got the donkey like there. <laughs> the donkey's, the donkey's there. right there. Was it hot off the tap? Uh, definitely not. I, I love that they picked. This was the twins episode, clearly. Oh, uh, man. Ugh. Wild ass show. I, I think they tried to bring it back a couple years ago uh, and, and it didn't work out or something. If Rogan came back and did the show, obviously he wouldn't, but man, that'd be cool, right? Like, I, I would watch. would it cost? That would be to cool. Rogan do it. Would he do it for a million dollars an episode? Four if he did it, I bet it would be his own thing. Yeah. He should produce it himself. That way he's comfortable because I remember him being upset with the course come. He was like, You can't do this. Don't do that to him. And also the bull riding. Those were the two things that he, he was like, Come on. You can't put these people on bulls. They're hmm. like, Ah, oh, don't worry. It's a, it's a stunt bull. And they're like, Does he know that? He's just a bull. <laughs> yeah, the bull doesn't know it's a stunt bull. It's still a bull. Like, it's, it'll fuck you up. He doesn't know he's got, like, 
fucking paperwork. Like he's just yeah, I like it. Remember the guy who was violent? There was one um, guy yeah, he had like he yeah. had curly His blonde wife hair. was the real violent one. Yeah. And um I don't know this. Guy. I get so if I recall correctly, his wife there were it was like maybe a couple's episode, and his wife was kind of aggressive towards another couple, and then, uh, dude, like the wife started the fight. Dude kind of continued it from there, and Joe steps in, and he's not like de-escalating too much. He's like, "Hey, you need to stop." You can't do this. You can't put your hands on anybody. And uh, he's like, just because you put your hands on your wife doesn't mean you can put it on these other people over here. And it was like a dig, like you're beating your wife. I, I, I don't remember it as beating, but the two of them were like passionate. She was, they were, they punched each other like in the arm hard. Like they would rough each other up. And the wife had hit an, op an opponent, like punched him in the body hard because he was really good at manipulating and teasing her. And they were she trolls. hits him. And he's like, the fuck you hit me and rogan was not having it i'm like yeah. look i'm not looking for friends here bud like i i'm <laughs> do you oh you work here all right well then can i talk to the guy in the tie like yeah instead I would, of you i like the idea of like eyeballing the customer as he comes in and doing a quick change you know kyle shows up with like one fucking gold tooth and a big chain <laughs> like, yo 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 you need to show, show you the grill <laughs> <laughs> and then he shows yeah. him his own teeth <laughs> uh, <laughs> kyle's in the back like looking and like 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 getting ready to like code switch and to talk to black people mode oh yeah his, like putting on his his Atlanta Falcons jersey or whatever. You, would you do that? I would. Oh yeah, I would absolutely code switch. Like, 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 like that's what I would do. I every there, there's probably three different ones. You, there's definitely like a a Southern dude. There's a way. There's another. There's a there's a mm. way to talk to another white man from the South, and there's a way to talk to like you know black folks, and there's a way to talk to like a hoity-toity Alpha 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 out of Georgia is where I was Alpharetta, Georgia. And there, the at the time, the median income was like 175k or something oh, like man. that, and the, and the median combined was over 300, and the average Beacon score was like 725. 725 was the average, and so they're if they're coming into your Ford dealership, you kind of got to get them while you can if you, if it's that mm -hmm. guy because he's going to Audi after here or somewhere like that, like he's going to go look at a fucking lexus and compare it to your fusion so either he buys now or he's leaving so i don't know i treat them a little different too that makes sense mostly mm. just just like maybe my accent and some I of the like words the way I that use. i've seen kyle code switch he does it really well it's personable and it always works you can put him in boston you can put him with a real country guy I, there's only two versions of me there's me and then if i think that's not well received a quieter version of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I can bring to you. <laughs> All right, I, I am not being well received. Time to clam up and <laughs> be silent. We'll just get a smile and <laughs> laugh at your jokes from here going forward. <laughs> <laughs> that that works you know just 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 clam up if you're not there's a quieter version of me <laughs> that's hilarious kyle how That'll do you code i'm gonna i'm gonna name a consumer you code switch into it right, Jap yeah. a japanese man brand new to atlanta and he want to feel like real american <clears throat> he just moved here now actually no now he chinese and he just moved here <laughs> well you know sir the thing about these american cars they're they're really not like any automobile built anywhere else in the world. And that's because American roads are like nothing else anywhere else in the world. American parking. Our culture and our country is built around the motor vehicle. The first ve motor vehicle is the Ford Model T. And we live, but we, we bring that tradition on and we don't care how big it is. And frankly, how much fuel mileage it gets. I'd sell them like that. I'd beef them up about, about America and size. I'm like, do you know that Ford makes the largest SUV ever, ever? We've got one. Don't I was hoping you'd car. be like, I got oh, a huge hero. excursion out there. <laughs> oh, hero. oh, you think I'm going to try to be Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I oh, I go put on my, my, put on my like, like round little glasses and <laughs> misidentified oh, the Chinese guy as Japanese and now yeah. you're his enemy. <laughs> He's like, I just moved from Beijing and you're like, oh, a small world. Oh, me, me too. too. I'm from Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from wherever you're from. <laughs> Are you 
are yeah, you so from you wouldn't North do... Cheap Town too? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You, you, so you wouldn't you wouldn't mirror their accent back at them? Okay. No, I'm, I'm no, dropping this down for sales. But I would, techniques. but I would fuck with them for sure. Like, like I, I felt like maybe I felt like it'd be more um, theatrical with a foreigner, and and they wouldn't realize I was being ridiculous, and and because like. So I'd be I'd be pretty boisterous. My arms would be moving, and I I might jump around a little. Um, I'd, I'd 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 be raising my voice quite a bit, like getting them hyped up about the car. And there were like Eastern Europeans you talked to who like probably just thought that different stuff was cool. So if there was like a Serbian guy who came in, you could be like, oh, "Those guys don't come." I, before. I finally need to show. <laughs> uh, I, I have someone to show the the purple interior. Lexus too that's been sitting burning a hole in our pocket on the lot because this fucking Serbian guy will think it's neat. This Persian will think it's cool. Actually include me in that purple. Woody will think it's cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not my purple car. Yeah. I guess you, you definitely just want to talk to people. Or I felt like you wanted to talk to different people differently. Because they're gonna expect something different, I think. Or different yeah. things will work on different people. Of course. That's that's just not being bad at sales. If you're trying to sell everyone the same way, you probably suck. Because, like, it seemed like Catch for black people, <laughs> I tried <laughs> with black people. It seemed like it was easy to make this car buying experience like a fucking party we're about to have. Like, mm. like we're about like like let's get the fuck out of here so we go have some fun in this thing. Let's go somewhere and do a thing. Like, let's hey before on, we get down to the nitty gritty. Who wants to see a magic trick? <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! This guy knows magic. So you wouldn't do that. You're a fucking warlock. A sorcerer. <laughs> you, you never. You didn't have a magic trick in your back pocket to be endearing. Uh, I used to. Um, I a could card? do that so or the other. The story-based card trick. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this, that, and the other is really good for killing time. If because you know we can sit there and I can make that trick go for a long time. I can keep rotating it and and keep, keep mm. it going for a long time and kill some time and also make you think that I am a wizard if you happen to be an African American because they do believe in magic readily. Readily, they don't look into it a bit. It's the best part about Bucky. you do that thumb I wanna, thing. I want to believe in magic. <laughs> <laughs> you do the thumb oh. thing. <laughs> they didn't fall for the got you nose. They're like, my yeah. nose isn't white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't try and take adults' noses. They like, hate it. <laughs> <laughs> would, you pay, would that be a would that be racist? If that you I just your thumb up. and then did you, the. If you did black thumb, if you did black thumb. So you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna steal a let's say you're gonna steal a small black child's nose and uh but and preemptively you you paint your whole thumb like chestnut brown and then you come up whoop and, and there it is and they're like uh-huh wait wait did you did you paint your you, you, you are you wearing black thumb? And like, yeah, it's cool, right? It's cool, right? I got to be a Canadian prime minister. Yeah, I bet. I My bet jokes they would mom with five year olds. <laughs> Dude, they would hate if you did black thumb. Man, I would. I don't want anyone, point. any other adult, touching my face in public. I would say three shows ago, you're kind of on the edge of pulling the trigger for a dog. I was, and I still am. But mm. I have decided when I get one, I'm going to go full puppy mode, uh, not like a one year old dog that's already trained. And okay. I was talking to my dad, and he was like, "You know, I think it's a really good idea that you get a dog, but." Something I wish I had thought through when I got my last dog, my last puppy, was that it's really a good spring purchase. You don't want to be standing out there teaching a dog to pee in the snow for a whole season through its puppy phase. That would be annoying. And or he said it was annoying, you know, with my dogs. And I was like, oh, I didn't consider that because yeah, it gets it gets cold as shit here. There's a bunch That's of what snow. I did. And that would be annoying. Got him in October. See, yeah, I think I, I think a March dog might be. But my wait, opinion. St. Louis and Atlanta are not the same. I'm not sure Kyle made a mistake. Where do you weigh yeah. in on that? Yeah, do you Let's even get snow? Cold. Snow? Okay. Snow, we don't need the snow for the cold. It, you oh. know, it. Well, we get hard. a lot of snow. <laughs> it gets it'll cold. Be the, Sometimes it'll be in the 30s. It'll be in like the oh 40s. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> in the 40s? Yeah, it's <laughs> real. You don't understand. It's the 40s. Dude, last winter it, it got to freeze. minus eight. <laughs> <laughs> It's cold to me. You know, I, I put on my fucking snow gear. 
I, I'll have on like a snow gear, green. meaning flip flops, <laughs> shorts, and a hoodie. <laughs> no, I've got like, like a fucking a tundra coat with a big fur, like cowl and everything. John Fetterman costume. When I yes, when I was Georgia Winters. When I was genuinely considering going to Ukraine a, a year or so ago, um, my girlfriend bought me a, U, a, a Ukraine ready coat, <laughs> and so I was like, well. I like that. I just I decided I don't want to get castrated in Western in uh, Eastern Europe. So instead, I I got this for when the dogs poo. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it works well for that instead. That way, I don't get castrated or anything in Russia. But the um, winter's that terrible in Ukraine? They probably are probably not. Yes, right. they're they're rather they're, terrible in Ukraine. Yeah, it has a big impact on the uh, their ability to move armor heavy vehicles. Oh, yeah, okay. that makes sense. Um, Guess it's basically Russia, so yeah. The I'm I'm, I'm still looking at dogs. I don't I don't know what I want to do, but I do want another dog. Hmm. Uh, I I go back and forth. He's a little cute. Do- yeah, yeah. I, I've been considering small dogs. I've been looking at a lot of small dogs, mostly Pomeranians and Pomapoos, and um, I like um, um, Huskies mixed with um, Pomeranians. It's a Pomsky. I like those. It's like half Husky, half Pomeranian. It's a very odd looking guy. It can look more husky or more pomeranian but the ones that look more pomeranian are basically like big fancy looking pomeranians and i think that's cool i and love they're, they're, they're ready for the winter it's like a it's like the winter model of a of a pomeranian sport or something am i right in guessing that they're healthier mix it like mutts tend to be pretty healthy dogs more genetic purebred. diversity seems like a, a good ca- catalyst for them not getting some weird tumor on their neck at, at, right. you know three or four years in which happens with those like like oh a yellow lab huh what generation of inbreeding is this? Eight thousand? Mm-hmm. Like, like, like this guy. Wow, that's that's a handsome dog. I like it. Oh, I'm fancy. Uh, <laughs> so I like those. Um, but but I don't know what I'm gonna get. I really like my doodle. Uh, Toby is tremendous. I've never had a dog that just sits there and makes eye contact with you and smiles as much as this dog does. Uh, he just wants to be with me all day. He's just super loving. Um, he barks at the neighbor's children when they lean over the fence and puts a scare into him. They're That's like, can good. I play with your dog? I'm like, he bites. He bites. <laughs> you know, is he, is he waiting for you in the bait or downstairs right now? Just excited oh, yeah. to play. Oh, he's probably, I, he's usually right outside that door, like laying there waiting. Um, or, That's or so he'll sweet. be downstairs sometimes. Just listening he, to it, your voice adoringly. Yeah. Uh, if Dogs I kept the, the door open, he would be under my desk with his foot, like on my foot. Uh, or his head on my foot. Uh, but sometimes he gets tangled in the cables and they get scared, so I can't have him in here. <laughs> That'd be a fucking He's nightmare. The- <laughs> he gets scared. <laughs> he just knocks I, all he you, knocks your router warm- over. Because, you know, there's there's a lot of hot air coming out of the, the back and the side of the PC, so he, like, nuzzles up in there, and he'll sleep there for three or four hours at a time if I'm gaming or something. So mm. I might get another uh, doodle of some kind. He's supposedly a Bernie doodle, but he mostly looks like a big goofy ass poodle to me. So any kind of poodle mix works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, My should. dog loves me. And uh, it's funny because Jackie does too. And they both want to snuggle me all night. But I run a first come first serve operation. <laughs> and Jackie <laughs> will pout and be like, God, Enderman. <laughs> you know, he took that spot. I'm like, hey, lay sideways a little. Get in just, here. just move him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's so big i don't know what he weighs now 170 or something he's oh so my big. god that's unreal for have you considered that getting a bigger bed point. like one of the fancy it's a king, king beds uh like i wonder what bed. that'd be like to live with all right so i've got a king and mm-hmm. i love it i've still got my old casper mattress every now and then mm-hmm. I'll, I'll be like oh yeah there's a new thing can you kind of mattress and then i just remember i love my mattress so goddamn much and i don't think they make mm-hmm. them anymore I love it, but it's Texas probably eight King. years old now. It's about time for a new mattress just for grossness reasons. I don't know. A lot of it. Yeah, ours is too. Yeah, it's about time. And uh, I, I do. Toby and the other dog always sleep in the bed, always. And they'll get hot and then they'll get up and get on the floor and cool off and they make that circuit. And when he lies down, he will flop onto me and wake me up and it affects my goddamn sleep. So I'm thinking about getting. There's a couple of different ones. They basically they just take a word and put it in front of king, right? There's a California king. I California think those are like bullshit. People think it's better. It's bullshit. Not. Thank you. It's just longer. But yeah, I think and it's narrower. wider. No, like, it's it goes, longer and narrower. Like put uh, Zach put up the uh, the Texas king. Yeah, show the us Texas the king. Show us the whole one. diagram. He did. There's but, a 
Oh, yeah. my bad. But it doesn't it have so everyone could see. It doesn't have regular King for comparison, which is a yeah. Bummer. We need we need the com but I know they make like a Texas King or a Montana King or a Colorado King. I think it's a Colorado King. That that feel that rolls off the tongue a little hmm. a little bit better. But it's huge. There's and a I've Wyoming been thinking, and an Alaskan. I don't know. Colorado. Okay, there you go. Anyway, I I've been thinking about doing that next time around. Just getting. All right, hmm. so let me find the king. Okay, so there's the okay, and then it doesn't oh, we'll have the Texas one. Yeah, that's it's, unfortunate. This is it doesn't so, have any. So if you look, you look at California. Oh, whoops. Um, oh, there we go. Excellent. Oh, Here we go. Open. Yeah. So the California king. I need to make my font bigger. It looks like on the width you lose four inches, and on the length you gain four inches. Yeah, it's just taller and skinnier. The Wyoming king is the way to go. Alaska. All right. It's a the party Alaska king is pretty I, great. I I, <laughs> I usually cap out at three people. No dog, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, you, you want not, uh, it's, you want it's your, not all legal of your here. dogs in there. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're in the comfort of your home. You can't be stopped. Can't have babies aren't legal here either. I don't know what country this was made in. This is <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I, don't I like how they judge, put a, cri a standard size of a crib in there, as if like like that. <laughs> like there's baby. Like like okay. So I usually sleep in the crib, but so that's gonna be. Oh, I have so much more room in a in a human sized bed. This is great. Yeah. Like who's yeah, making a decision? As, as far as practicality goes, the Wyoming king. Looks Look like how the much best. bigger the crib baby is than the, the the baby on the Wyoming King. None of this is making sense. It's not tracking for me. I don't know. I I'm <laughs> like not sure I wanted that crib far away. There. Like I, I get that big's fun and everything. I we slept in a queen for like the first 20 years we were together. Dude, no. And I, I liked oh. it. I like no, Dude, no. <laughs> My, I, 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 I used I had an ex-girlfriend with a queen. Most girls have queens. And I, I was like, we gotta get you a new bed. I was, I was like, guess what you're getting for your birthday? <laughs> a king size bed. <laughs> a king size bed for me to fuck you in. Um, so, so, so pick one out and I'll pay for it and I'll help put it in here. And that's what we did because I couldn't stand to really? be in a, a queen size bed. Because I want to be able to, like, I don't know, get in like the, the fetal position and not worry that my heels are going to clack against her knees. Or I, I want to make, I, I want to be able to roll over a little bit, not elbow her elbow. I, I don't know. I want a little bit more room. The Alaska right. King seems definitely like overkill. I can't even picture that in the room because I know yeah, that King is already. Yeah, that's I'm just arrogant. The Wyoming King, I'm literally going to do. How many feet is 108? 96 is eight feet, right? Nine. So it must um, be nine, nine, nine by nine. Feet would be yeah. there. So it's a nine by nine foot. All right. So you got to really commit to your room being the bedroom with the Alaskan <laughs> King. Like, no, I was meaning like there's not going to be any other room in there in a normal size bedroom for a nine foot by nine foot bed in a normal house. Yeah, oh. so I, I mean, my bedroom's really big. Um, I don't know how big it is, but it's thirty feet. I don't know, like it's big, and the ceilings are like twenty feet tall. Like it would fit that bed. So I'm like, should I? I yeah, you're not. Si if you I'm, were still in the queen now, I would be like furious. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like it though. Queen size bed, so she can't get far away. And we had a king size comforter, so we could like both steal the covers and do whatever you wanted with the covers. That was I'm currently idea. doing the doing the like one step above that, I guess. I've got the king size bed, but with the the comforter from the size up, so that it's extra wide, so no one can steal all the covers because there's mm -hmm. literally an extra couple feet. So but I, I do want that bigger bed because I don't I didn't usually sleep in bed with two grown ass dogs and i can't even imagine the great dane situation because my dog's like an average sized dog he's leggy but he's probably 60 pounds a 150 pound dog is something i can't even imagine he's so <laughs> long his feet are so long no, his legs uh, does he ever just like 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 start like kick you in the face or hit you with the claws like I'd not in the face that. no but he, he runs in his sleep and stuff sometimes wakes us up that's hilarious <sighs> yeah. i've also so, all right, so here's the alternative to the dog, and I'm seriously, I guess, kind of considering that because my girlfriend's oh. into it. Uh, the calif um, the um, the Maine Coon cats. Are you familiar oh. with those? No, I'm I was I was cat. fully expecting a pig thing, but carry on. Fuck that. I don't want that. Look, she'd be down for a pig or a goat or anything, Like, but I don't want an a livestock shitting in my house, so fuck all that. 
but this cat, these Maine Coon cats, they're very expensive. They're, I guess, what based special on how much I, they're huge. They're gigantic. They're like 35 pound cats Whoa. and they're not fat. They're athletic, small lynxes, basically. So that's a kid holding one, obviously, but you're not getting a, a ton of force perspective or tomfoolery here. It's genuinely a really big fucking cat. But why would you add yeah. a cat to the mix? Can you like, show the picture with the woman carrying? Because it? these yeah. cats are uh, personality wise are, are quite a bit closer to dogs. They'll fetch. They? Uh, they'll they'll go on walks on leashes and stuff, and they're just beautiful. They they genuinely are beautiful. That one in particular is so beautiful. Like, this is chopped, and there's a little forced perspective. But they're big. They're beautiful. They're neat. Yeah. I like them. Are they nice? I, nice what I hear is it's a regular cat. It's just a cat. So you know okay. you're gonna get what you. Oh my! All right, that looks frightening. I don't like that one. I don't like <laughs> that a bit. I, that looks. Is that a guy in a costume? This. What the fuck is going on <laughs> What's here? It fucking, why is it fucking mean mugging me? Like I, I'm, <laughs> I, I feel like we're ready to go right now. Like, like, like I, I'm. Just, all right. You want you want that thing with those eyes walking around your house scaring the wonderful Not dog that. Toby? Dude, I, I'd smoke that fucker. It's like, gonna like, bully the, the first... shit out of Toby. I would lead that fucker into the mm -hmm. oven the first night and turn the gas on. Like that if thing's a, scary. If That's that a reincarnated human bully, and not a nice one. If that cat tried to bully Toby, I'm a hundred percent sure Kyle would make that a two v one right away. No yeah. cats yeah. bullying Toby. Now, now you both bullied. getting. Now you both need to go but get Toby's shots only eight hundred dollars. Cat scratches. See, Toby's only eight hundred dollars, but most of those Maine Coons seem to be like a fifteen hundred to a five thousand dollar purchase. Well, in the grand scheme of things, no. But I'm just saying. <laughs> well, I, I, meant, can't, like, I can't. I'm not gonna snap his neck. Like he's not disposable. But he's getting. It. He's he's gonna win. You know, Toby will win the fight. <laughs> you can get yeah, like you Toby, can get like two Toby of those, uh, husky palms or whatever for that price, right? We'll see. We'll see. Then you gotta. Then you have the maintenance and the upkeep of two husky palms and the annoyance. I think of this guy as the least annoying thing. He's gonna be all aloof and shit up on a banister mm -hmm. looking over us. Like, like he's gonna be, you know, litter boxing it up. Those things don't poop and pee in the house. Like, like, I mean, they do, but they use a litter box, and it's, it's not a thing. It's not a problem. So I, I'm, I'm considering those a little bit. I saw some gray ones that looked, I don't know, like something out of Harry Potter, like something out of a fantasy novel, and and kind of want one of those. Your house is gonna I, smell I, like cats. You know what? I, That's no, exactly I was what just I'm thinking. thinking that if Kyle no gets a cat, that. I look. for forward to seeing the litter box he chooses i bet it has an iphone app look at that babushka holding this thing my god it looks <laughs> like it's stolen her soul that is big <laughs> it sapped me of my life force how much eight this so you can find them for fifteen hundred dollars and you get that cat um again i think i don't know that that's not some sort of photoshop nonsense i would mm. advise going to like the the site you purchase them on because they don't have any reason to to get extra clicks they're just selling cats and there's it's like everything else there's different levels to the to these main coon cats there's different bloodlines and there's preferred eye uh coloration and obviously mm. fur coloration and then there's some that are more short haired it seems so the really desirable ones are like really desirable dogs up three, five, eight thousand crazy shit. But you know, I like the idea that like one cool thing is what someone who shows a cat really values might not line up with what you really value. You know, you're our probably care about personality paramount, size second, yeah. so it looks cool. Eye color, if you're like me, a hundred percent flexible on that. So if that makes the cat cheaper, I'll take the brown eyes. One of the things that I really want in a, in a dog is pretty eyes. Uh, that that is hmm. one of my that is in my top three of, of important things is that they okay. have nice wow. eyes. If they're first of all, if they're cross eyed, not even interested. Uh, and if they have extra pretty eyes, that really puts them up a few levels. Same thing, same with girls. Honestly, like I was going to ask that. If a girl has these really light blue eyes, I'm super into that. Green eyes, super into that. Look, if you got brown eyes, I, 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 I'm still going to think you're beautiful. I'm just saying, like, like, oh, look at that. That's a neat thing. That's a cool thing. I agree. Um, it's a cool thing. Although, if I look at eyes closely, I've never seen human eyes that I didn't think were beautiful. Mm, like, sure. They're all well done. I have these beautiful honey almond eyes. It's, it's, you just get lost in them.
do. <laughs> do I you do. have honey almond eyes? Is that a nice way to uh, say brown? With flecks of green, yes. With flecks of green. That's hazel. hazel. I have hazel eyes. It says so on my license. That's <laughs> right. It says so on mine, too. also says I'm 6'4". Really? Fuck no. I would, I mean, <laughs> uh, although that would be kind of funny. I do think a funny, <laughs> that would be funny. 